Hello, it's Mark Rintosh here from Mark on 3D, and today I'm going to be showing you a free add-on that enables the text to be a text counter, you little ripper. It's by the guys at Leo Moon Studios. So if we go to the page, link in the description, we go all the way down to the bottom and we click download. Once we've finished downloading, we come over into Blender, edit, preferences, install, find your file, which should be here, install add-on, there it is. Give it a little bit of a tick box, close that, I can now delete that default cube as we all love doing. Shift A, add in text, come over here into the text settings, come down to Leo Moon text counter. And from here, we've got a whole bunch of settings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you very quickly, very briefly on this. So at the moment we're on frame one, I'm gonna right click insert a keyframe on the counter. Let's just go to 220 frames. I'm gonna make this number 220, right click insert keyframe. Now at the moment, you'll see as we play, it kind of starts off slow and then finishes off slow. And that's because it, there's a Bezier curve. So we actually go into the animation, then graph editor. We can see if I just press the period key on the numpad, it'll automatically zoom in. So now we got, we can see that we've got that Bezier curve. If you wanted a constant line up, we can just press T down the bottom and change the interpolation down to linear. And now we've got a straight line. But however, let's do some fancy stuff. I'm going to press T and go back to the Bezier curve. I'm going to press N on the graph panel to bring up our menu. Let's add in a modifier, add modifier, noise modifier. Let's increase the strength. We're equally doking. I'm going to press numpad seven just to come to here. Now, if I press play, you'll see it kind of like counts up and down slowly, but surely maybe that's a little bit too strong, but you can see it goes up and down. And when it hits that 220, it's going to kind of bounce up and down. So that's just a cool little feature. Let's come back into the text section and have a look what else we can do. We can do by time, which to tell you the truth, I haven't played about. I was more concerned about the numbers. We can go decimal places with the padding, go as many as we want. whoop de doodle let's bring that back. And then we can go digital grouping where we put commas in. Blah. So please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, keeps you up to date with the content. If you want to download this add-on, link in the description. And if there's any other add-ons you'd like me to review, paid or free, please let me know in the comments below.